don't know about you, but when I was playing through Blasphemous 2 and I finished the first three areas or killed the first three bosses rather and we made our way down to the Mother of Mothers, I was a little bit surprised. And as I was travelling through Mother of Mothers and we made our way to the central chamber where the tree is and I realised that it was actually the same Mother of Mothers, there was a question in my head. Like, is it the same Mother of Mothers? You know, you spent a fair chunk of time working through this area in Blasphemous 1. Exactly how similar is it in Blasphemous 2? What you're seeing on the screen in front of you now is the Blasphemous 2 version of the map. You've got the Sea of Ink here. You've got Grills and Ruins up here. You've got whatever that bit is, I can't remember. And then you've got the, the kind of chapel -y stuff underneath. And as I was going through, there were a few things that were like, yeah, this seems really familiar. Like this room here, I think it is, is the one with the giant bell in, albeit ruined in the background. This bit here is the, the room with the tree in. But it was like, mm, it seems somewhat familiar, but not 100%. This room here was the room with the kind of crashed cages down in the corner. So, of course, what I've eventually, and I've been meaning to do this for a few days now, I, what I've eventually got around to doing is, well, taking my map for the first game and overlaying it on the second game, because I deliberately, not necessarily for this reason, but I deliberately made the maps the same size. The exact same size i made sure that each of these kind of corridors was 256 pixels high it was just how i did it and how i wanted to do it so that if you put the two maps side by side and we'll look at that in a second then you can you know you can see it in its glory for the world of custodia so here is the mother of mothers from the first game overlaid with the second game and if I flip back and forth, keep in mind that th this is the this is the room with the tree. So I've overlaid it in the same place, and you'll see that actually it is very much the same mother of mothers. So the the portal room in Blasphemous Two is the old Mea Culpa shrine room in Blasphemous 1. The Queer Dews have moved, but, yeah, see, this is the big bell room that you went through and then you climbed up the, the platforms. It doesn't quite go all the way up to the top on that. It joins into a different area. But it is the same Mother of Mothers. The difference being that in the new version for Blasphemous 2, they've actually kind of delineated the rooms a little bit more in certain places. So this big room, which was the one that you worked your way around to, um, and there were throwing enemies, if I remember correctly, and then there was the gem in the corner, that's now been broken up like this. There's still something up in the corner, but this is now the bell room that you, you have to go through. This room down here where you get the, the kind of Castlevania axe skill. That used to link down to whatever the, the stuff down is there. Plus there was the, the secret wall that took you through to, to Miriam's place. This room over on the left, which is the one with all the mirrors that you can zip through, this actually used to be bigger and there used to be a connecting place. It's possible that the, the, the Melchiades stuff um was was no longer you know it, it collapsed and so on and so forth and i find it interesting i find it interesting that over here is the cleophas bit this is the bit where cleophas um commits suicide because in here there's also just up here actually isn't it that there's a bit where you can you can jump off as well so clearly the geography of the land has changed and that's absolutely fine because twisted is the the way of the miracle but you know this room here is is broken up into some smaller rooms this room here is basically the exact same thing and i kind of now want to go back this is 
Yeah, so this is where you find one of the, the, the Camillo sisters, but there's also the Rodento statue in the background of that hidden area, isn't there? And that links up with the fact that that's where he goes and dies. So I found that really interesting. You know, the shape of the rooms towards the bottom have changed a bit. The the room with the, the sculptor tool is partially the room where you get the, the chalice, but also part of the apodeptic hearts room by the look of it. So it's not a one for one, but it's very, very close. And I really appreciate that they did that. I really appreciate that they've they've actually taken some time to, to to take a look at the original and say, well, if we want it to be the same place, how can we make it familiar enough that people can tell if they've played the first game that it is the same place? But how can we change it up so that it is a new area to explore and it's not exactly the same puzzles and exactly the same things and it's a thousand years in the future? And I really appreciated that. Let's take a look at the actual full maps. Right, we're going to do this at a really zoomed out scale. And you can probably tell from the way that this is laid out on the screen that it's going to be an interesting one. Keep in mind that obviously the easiest way of doing this was to fixate on the same point of crossover, which is the Mother of Mothers, which on this original Wounds of Eventide map is here. The question is, is there any crossover between the world of Custodia a thousand years in the past and the world of Custodia in the present? And the answer to that is basically no. <laughs> no, there is not. There's absolutely no other point of comparison that I can find between the two now, in fact the entire world has been kind of shifted up and to the right which kind of makes sense you know when we build we build atop what is there before so in the first game the mother of mothers was you know you made your way through these areas and up to the mother of mothers which was the holiest place and then there was just a couple of tiny-ish areas the cathedral rooftops um and you know the, the throne that you fight the pope at but now the mother of mothers is actually been built atop of in the thousand years and the city and everything else has been built atop the ruins of that former civilization and that's exactly what you would expect i mean if you take a look at where the town is which is here in the past it's basically where the arch cathedral rooftops would have been and there is that kind of vertical structure up from the old mother of mothers into uh profundo lamento and into the the city of the blessed name but it's 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 certainly not as kind of close a comparison as you could say with the mother of mothers itself it even seems actually like the sea level has risen you know if, if you look at the sea which was kind of down towards the hondo level in blasphemous one it's risen up to you know above the what were they called the gardens the patio the patio of the silent steps i imagine for a lot of people this is you know uh, uh, who cares actually there's a little bit of crossover up there some vaguely vaguely similar room structures but but not really a lot but anyway i just thought that this would be an interesting academic exercise it might have been more interesting and clearer if i'd used versions of the map that didn't have stuff on the trouble is if i'd done that i wouldn't actually be able to remember the locations of of many things but i think the thing that i've taken away from this is first of all that there's plenty of space to expand i mean this area down here whatever it was called morning and havoc 
Um, that could be underneath the map as we've currently got it in Blasphemous 2. And likewise, all the way down to the Labyrinth of the Tides. You know, there's, there's areas down there. I mean, there's loads of space on this map for for expansions. This stuff above Sacred Entombments. There's loads of places that they could go. Um, down under the Palace of the Embroiderers would be a good one. Although that means that I'd have to move all of these boxes. But that's fine. Make a good video game. But yeah, I just thought that was a an interesting thing to, to, to take a look at. You know, how similar or different are these things if it's supposed to be the same place how much overlap is there and i'm really really pleased i th th this is the the cartographer in me i'm really really pleased that they they've kept the space so similar but not identical i think if it would be if they'd laid it out in an identical manner it would have been a bit too uncanny the passage of time and the, the kind of building up on what came before, I think, is a really good choice. How intentional it was, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say, yeah, I imagine that that is what they were going for, building the new on the ruins of the, the old. I imagine that's why it's set a thousand years later to allow time for the world to shift and change and to grow. And in terms of how the the world is set together, I mean, 2D, 2D Metroidvanias are always really weird when it comes to their layouts because of how things link up and how areas link up. So the, the, how... How are there so many ladders and lifts and stuff linking things up? It's like, don't don't think about it too hard. It's generally for the best. But yeah, that's that video. I, I hope you found that vaguely interesting. As I said, purely as an academic exercise, it was just something that I was intrigued about. And now I'm not intrigued because I have seen it. And you have seen it too if you stuck with it this far. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a like. Subscribe for more. Head over to the coffee.com page and see what's over there that you might be interested in. I'm posting there fairly regularly at the moment. This has been my comparison of the mother of mothers and, in fact, the blasphemous maps in general. Have a great day. Stay fabulous, stay safe. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.